Hello everybody, welcome to this new tutorial. In today's series I will going to walk you through through the installation process of the EndLoadMan uh, JSON library and Krult, um if you haven't seen the tutorial on how to install Krull, how to build the library Krull <coughs> on Linux from scratch from sources you can Take a look at uh, prior tutorials in which I have discussed that and how to <coughs> set up a Python server uh, with an API server service. Today we're going to be using that API service we already built, and on top of that we will um, install the Enlomman uh, library, which is um, what we need to parse the JSON response that we get from from the server. So uh, let's get started. Let me just try to switch to my. Um, <coughs> so I already have the whole project here. Um, so I will walk you through <coughs> uh, setting the old species together. So in order to save time, the first thing we would should uh, be doing is if you search on internet for modern modern C++ uh, JSON <coughs> probably you will see this as the first result now the next step will be to download this um, source once you download it you unzip it and once you unzip it and uh, the place where you download it in my case is right here if you see um, the code yeah we will download exactly to that part this is the JSON develop it's already there so I'm not going to download it again I will simply walk you through the process so that we can save time so you open the terminal right uh, very important if you just scroll all the way down on the no Roman JSON and very important to see this part <coughs> because this is the actual um, instructions to, to it says unit tests here but it is actually a process that we need to follow in order to install it so the first thing will be to create a di directory I created my directory which I named it my build. If I move into my build from here, I should be executing this command exactly as it is given here. Once the command is done, <coughs> it takes quite a while, so I'm not going to run it. And uh, then the next command should be this one, the build, and the third one will be this one. This command might give you some little errors. In my case, I got two little errors. Um, it seems like there are some little things still when you download the sources from Git. There are certain things that um, might happen, but it shouldn't be a big deal for the correct functioning of the application of the program. So once this is done, you can then <coughs> go on and type in make install. Make sure you use sudo so that the installation process might can access um, certain places in your file system very important once it is installed you can just simply scroll up to see a little bit more instructions on how to <coughs> proceed <coughs> um, in order to finish this exercise successfully you should also already have installed um, curls the curls library so this is the header as opposed to um, usual uh, C++ header we have here something called HPP so bear that in mind um, so make sure you have curls installed <coughs> take a look at curls make sure you have curl installed know your path because we will need it uh, later on for uh, for building the project 
so uh, once this is done we will need to create a project for that right I will just um, I will create here a directory let's call it crawl JSON open it with your terminal um, and you can then call dot to launch your visual code this is not required you can do this with your favorite um, uh, IDE you create your main file and I will be copying this case so that we don't waste too much time <coughs> I will be copying first of all the headers that we need in this case we need um, IO stream and let me see if I can put this a little bit smaller uh, I stream for uh, dealing with strings of course and curl library actually the curl library should read like this right so um, once we have the library we will be using also the Nolan library right here I'm also um, using this namespace std and we will um, first of all here we got the whole um, curled in order to just to have a better understanding of the curl I'm going to walk you through uh, my postman just to have a better sense of how this all postman how this all came to place uh, where's my postman? Postman, postman is coming. Yes, here it is. Postman is loading, and I should have somewhere here my. This is the one that I'm using. So this is a service that I'm using locally, um, running on a local server in which I use a password and a username, right? so I have explained this whole process process in another video so the only thing you need to do here is just head on to the code part of the postman and right here on the lib curl C curl you copy the whole codes right you will be copying <coughs> sorry about my and you will be pasting it into the main um into the main uh, function here right let's just keep on the return zero uh, right here so I might not need these uh, cookies stuff so far uh, let me just comment this a little bit so far if I compile this code it will just show me the response and the response will be something like let me just show you what the response will look like it's a very simple um, a simple response JSON response uh, this is a response right now we're going to get this from this program file right now it is um, it is set. I will just compile this. I will compile it like um, G plus uh, plus minus O. Let's call it main uh, main CPP. Oh. And I need to link the path to my library, right? So I will locate um, curl.h and I will copy into my um okay I have to repeat this over again uh, okay let's copy I'll copy this and minus uh, L and here we're gonna paste oops okay let's USR include curl right minus L curl so this will be the instruction to compile what we already have if I run this 
then we have the response. Now we need to parse this response in a proper way using C++. So in order to parse this, um, we need to use a a uh, loopback um, callback function. So that callback function implementation can be seen here. We have a callback function right here and we have this. So we need to create first of all define a string buffer. We're gonna be defining this right over here, string buffer. Um, after the string buffer we need to implement a function, a callback function. Well, a callback function will be this one over here. I will paste this function right over here. You can see, you can pause and look at it carefully. This is a C, plain C function, a callback function. So we need to somehow uh, process the response of the server in a way that we can then uh, stringify and retrieve the um, uh, objects from the JSON file, uh, JSON, re JSON response. So once this is done, we can then go ahead and integrate these two lines of code, which will then call the, um, the callback function, right? So this will uh, pass by reference to this uh, string that we just created and then once this is done uh, right on here we have to create a now we're going to start uh, working on the parsing part which is actually um, the reason why it's showing up like this is because we haven't in integrated uh, the library yet. So for the library, I guess it's just include uh, norm lan json hpp. Once this is done, this will look fine. And finally, I created a little um, void uh, function that will take care of uh, printing, extracting this uh, element and printing out on the screen. So AVP is the handle of this. If we look at this, uh, AVP is the key. Um, so what I only thing I have to do now is simply right after, oops, after this one, uh, let me just show you what we have here. Uh, we're gonna do the cleanup inside. We do the cleanup inside, and right over here we just call that function. We call this function that I just defined here which is going to take in a string, which is the same string we have defined here, which we are passing, writing data by reference here, data that is um, allocated with this callback uh, function. Right here we take it and we pass it to our um, function which will just take care of presenting, extracting um, by key the value received by the server, by res uh, in the response by from the server. And basically that should be it. So yeah, important notes uh, as I showed before, just uh, making sure the, um, you install the library properly. There are some examples to, you can, take a look at here and then we built the same build there's no special uh, um, uh, parameter for building with this library we just built exactly as we have built before so let me just clear out the screen so it can be more clear I don't know if it's a way I can make this 
mm, taste uh, bigger um, yeah I hope uh, this is clear that you can see what is written here but it's the exact same command G++ minus O output the output name of the file uh, the source code L to link including library and finally the linker uh, minus L curl this is the only one we need to, to link so now if I just uh, execute we will see the clean response from the server and that's pretty much what I wanted to walk you through just take another look at the code um, and yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching and I hope it's been helpful cheers